Hello everyone, Drew here. Welcome to today's video. I hope you enjoyed that cinematic. Uh, I definitely understand now why people hire editors because that was like 37 seconds of footage that took me almost, I think, four hours to make. Three hours, four hours, something like that. So definitely understand why people hire editors now. But uh, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, that featured the car and the location that I'm going to be drifting in today in Forza. I'm going to be using my Logitech G920. Uh, I am kind of new to drifting on the wheel, so I'm definitely not going to be very good. Uh, but I've got nothing to hide, you know. I'm not trying to trying to look like the best for you guys. I just, you know, I just want to have fun, and uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. So let's go ahead and jump on over to Forza right now. All right, welcome to Forza Horizon 4, everybody. Today I'm going to be driving the 1992 Nissan Silvia. I'm going to be drifting it on a wheel. I'm learning, uh, so I'm definitely going to make some mistakes. But uh, real quick, I'm going to go through the upgrades that I have for the car. I've got no engine swap. I am, I do have the uh, Rocket Bunny uh, wide body kit on here. Cosmetically, I just have the Rocket Bunny wing and the Sybin Carbon front hood. As far as tires go, I'm running the Sport Tire Compound with the thinnest tires in the front and the thickest tires in the back. Pretty much everything else is fully upgraded. All this stuff's fully upgraded, um, except for the uh, chassis reinforcement slash roll cage. I only did the sport upgrade. I did not do the full roll cage. And then the only other two things are that I did the stock intercooler and the stock oil and cooling. Everything else is fully upgraded. Alright, next I'm going to move on to the tuning. As far as tuning goes, uh, I tried to do this kind of based off of a realistic tune. I read an article on somebody who drifts or sorry, tunes drift cars for uh, a living. So I kind of tried to translate to the that to the game as best as I could. So I'm running 32 PSI in the front and rear. And then as far as all the other settings go, uh, I'm actually just going to kind of skip through all this. Uh, and if at any point you want to pause and match my tuning, you can. So just real quick going through all that stuff. Um, obviously, these are all just my settings. Other people's might be different. The one I do want to talk about is the braking. I have it set up this way so that I can uh, drag the brakes through through drifts. I know some people are against that, so if you are, obviously your brake settings are going to be a little different. But for me, I uh, since I'm learning, I feel like dragging the brakes isn't really a problem. So for now, that's the brake settings that I have. Um, and then yeah, the rest's not really worth talking about. You guys can see what I have uh, that set up as. Real quick, I just wanted to go through my difficulty settings uh, in case this is something that interests you guys. I have pretty much all of my all of my assists turned off. I have the ABS turned off, simulation steering, traction control off, stability control off, manual with clutch, all that good stuff. Um, and then as far as the wheel controls go, I know this is something that a lot of people aren't sure about. So here's how I have it set up. Obviously, you can just pause at any point and grab the uh, the bindings that you want. And then the advanced is probably what more people would care about. Same thing here. You can just pause and grab whatever you want. I actually got these settings from somebody in a, in a Facebook group for the Logitech G920 users. And I, I've been using these settings since they recommended them, and they work great. So definitely should try this out if you can't seem to find the settings that work for you. All right, so here we are. We are at the uh, the train yard, and uh, this is kind of where I like to do my practicing and my learning. It's really good for for learning, in my opinion, because you it, it, you keep a low speed, but it's still very uh, diverse. I guess would be the best thing to say. You go back and forth quite a bit. There's a significant difference in speed, even though the speed does stay low. It still is uh, quite significant changes. Um, as I as I mess up, like I said in the in the intro, I'm not going to be perfect. All right, sorry for the awkward cut there. Apparently, I did not get all my problems figured out, but uh, 
Oh well, I guess the show must go on. <laughs> um, I don't... I just hit all of those crates right there. Unfortunately, I, uh, I don't remember where I left off at. But uh, I'm just going to kind of move on to the next thing, I guess. One thing I definitely want to mention when it comes to learning to drift on the wheel is that you need to be patient. It's going to it's gonna take a while, especially uh, going from controller to the steering wheel. It's a big difference, so if you get frustrated and give up, you're never going to learn. I mean, that's just the way it is. You gotta, you got to be willing to push through. Um, you may get frustrated, but it, it's all worth it in the end. Once you get good, from what I've heard... <laughs> It's uh, it's very satisfying, and I, I, I'm obviously still learning and have a long way to go, but when those good drifts happen, you certainly feel really, really good about it. So I definitely can already attest to the fact that it's so worth all the, all the struggle that you have to go through um, to learn. Alright, I'm just going to kind of keep going through uh, runs here. You can kind of, uh, I, although I don't have a pedal cam, you can kind of hear uh, what I'm doing with the pedals. Uh, you can hear when I'm on the gas, obviously. And as far as pretty much any time it cuts out or I'm using the e-brake, that's because I'm pushing the clutch. Uh, and I don't, as you can see, use the brakes very much. That's something I... I kind of need to learn. I've heard that, you know, like I, like I was kind of mentioning and why I have it tuned that way, is that I can drag the brakes, but I, I haven't really tried dragging the brakes on the wheel yet. I've only done it on the controller. I just stalled out there and crashed into the wall. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not perfect. Um, but yeah, definitely, I think, I think learning to drag the brakes will help me out a lot. I mean, even just right there, it seemed like it like it made a pretty significant difference. So let's go ahead and give this a go again. Oh yeah, dragging the brakes really, really makes a difference. Ooh, I used the brake there instead of the clutch, and so I stalled it again. That is definitely one thing you have to be careful of. And I'm spinning out again. Let's see if we can keep it going, make it look cool, I guess. It appears we can. Let's see if I can uh, actually get a full run in here for you guys. At least one, right? Couldn't do it. I'll try try once more. Might as well. Don't know if it's actually going to happen or not. I, I think I've made like one or two full runs. Um, I've only been drifting on the wheel for a few days, so I like I said, I'm still learning. Still obviously not the best at it, but this is definitely the, a good place to learn. I, I certainly would recommend that you guys learn here as well. Um, I had some other people suggest to me Oh gosh, this this runs a real mess. Uh, I had some some other people suggest to me like going around a roundabout and going one direction, and then once you get good at the one direction, switching directions. But I tried that, and it just it didn't really work for me. I don't know what it was about it. I just I didn't seem to learn that way like I was hoping I would. Whereas this way, I definitely have learned a lot quicker than I did that way. So I I personally would recommend this, however, you, whatever you think will work for you, um, definitely go go for that. Uh, I would love to hear your guys' feedback, uh, for those of you that do try it, I would love to hear like what spots you learned at, and uh, how, how it worked out for you. Um, I'm crashing again, so I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this there. Uh, I really wish I could have gotten a full run for you guys, but I did my best. So, as usual, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.